All right, guys. So since I've got about 1,200 pounds worth of welders in the uh, bed of my truck, I've been having a bit of a squatting issue. So in order to solve that, I've gotten some of these airlift airbags that I'm going to install right in here to help with the load lift a little bit and keep my headlights from pointing in that other driver's eyeballs. This, let's see if we can get in a second. Alright, so now that we're down here on the ground, first thing to be done is going to be to mount the lower airbag mount on, which is going to require the use of two of the supply U bolts. Bag of parts down here. Four washers. And four nuts. And also these little guys. So now we're going to use this alignment tool to figure out the placement of the upper mount.
working by feel here. Huh? All the other side won't be too bad. Does it know how to do it? Yeah. I know, I'm almost done. The other side won't be too bad because there aren't any uh, fuel lines or brake lines. So the next step, take this lock washer and plastic nut, and these are what hold the top of the airbag in. Just gonna thread those on, and then we'll thread in the air fitting. The other side now. The other side should be easier being as there are no brake lines, fuel lines, or parking brake lines in the way. So it should go a little smoother. Alright, so we're here on the passenger side. And all I have to do is replicate what I did on the driver's side. So I'm gonna take this tape measure, go over there and measure the distance between the front of this and uh, the oh the back of this and the front of this that way I can get this plate in the same location forward and back and then I'll use the alignment tool again to get the position of this upper bracket sorted out. Right about there. So, 
I'll grab that pavement. All right, so we've got an inch that we have to have in between these two points, which makes math easy and makes figuring it out easy. I like this part of the install because it's just as easy as bolting it on. I don't, I probably don't need these spacers that I'm putting on, but I'm putting them on anyways just because I have them. Putting them on because I got them. Alright, so due to the way this one is fitting, I'm going to have to run the airline 
You can see right there, this is a little air fitting. And the airline's gonna run back down there, back to my bumper. And I'm, in order to get this to line up, I've gotta put the, it's gotta be on the other side of this little uh, flange right here. So in order to make that work, I am going to put the airline in first and then get that all sorted. And then after I get the airline in, I'll bump it over to that other side. Then it won't matter that I can't get to it. So let's go do that. Um, the airline, it's pretty simple. I'll show you guys where I'm gonna run it. So I'm gonna run it right under here. One here, and then one right there, and that will be where I'll have the airlines. I'll just keep them easily accessible, and should be simple to get to. So I'll run the airlines. I'm just gonna do the rest of this off camera, because it's simple enough. I'll run the airlines, and then I'll get back to you guys once it's done. All right, so, the airbags are fully installed. Got airline running to the back. Got the little hookups for the air input right down here. Passenger side. So this elbow ended up being on the inside of that but I made sure to give it enough clearance so that do bed, if the bed shifts or anything zip tied very nicely by Gavin so all right let's uh, get the wheels back on put it on the ground and put some air in and see how these things work all right so airbags are installed, now let's add some air pressure, see what happens.
very overly cautious. Are you kidding? comes out very quickly. Er. Huh. Well, let's check our side height measurement. Make sure each side is the same. Nicely. Now it doesn't look like I'm. Yeah, it looks a little bit round. Wow. Wonder how that'll affect the light bulb. Now. We see if they hold air overnight. And on that supposed success, see you guys in the next one.